How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back with yet another review. A little double IPA, hopeful goodness. In the form of Calusa Brewing's Citrinous B.I.G., baby. Um, yeah, uh, Calusa. New brewer to me. Um, I've had two. Count them two, Utah. Two of their beers uh, so far. One was a beer I had while I was up at Equilibrium Brewing while I was interviewing those guys. Someone there cracked one. It was quite delicious. And I had one that came in this box. The box that this came in, I should say. And that was their um, something clawed. I forget. It was a barley wine with coffee. Let's put it that way. And uh, that box was sent to me by Ralph. Thank you very much, brother. You're the bestest of the bestest. And, uh, yeah, super excited because, you know, not that I've had a ton from the brewery, but all of, it, all of it's been big, huge, multi bits and pieces. So it's kind of nice to dive into a little bit of hop jammer. So, anyway, let's see what she's got. As far as what it says in a can, Citrinous B.I.G. or big. Double IPA, PLL. Um, let's see... 8.8% alcohol by volume. This is their unfiltered citra hop double IPA with flavor that is notorious, notoriously big. Calusa Brewing, Sarasota, Florida. Done and done. This can, notorious, um, was from January 19th. is the 15th of February. So oh, just under a month old. Uh, Label has eight. It's kind of like got this kind of like a um, new school kind of, I don't know, kind of, um, I don't even know what I call it. Kind of like pop art, new school pop art. Kind of like like a emoji-ish kind of vibes to it, but at the same time it has kind of old school kind of like carny, postery vibes to it. I kind of dig it actually. So yeah, pop that cap, see what she's got. Do 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 do, Calusa. What do we have here? Uh, finger to half, um, creaminess. Sleep on that sucker. Super uniform bubbles throughout, kind of medium small bubbles. And she's got that haze, baby. Definitely has that kind of New England look on the lock. So let's see if we can get a nose on her. Fruits. Yeah, I got this big, huge melon kind of papaya thing from a distance that kind of warped. When I got closer into just a kind of a fruit, tropical fruit medley, you're getting kind of melon vibes in there, your, your kiwis to all that stuff. A little bit of citrus, a little bit of peach. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. There's green in there. There's definitely green. There's definitely weedy green in this in there, but that sweet kind of is beating it down in the nose. Yeah, it smells nice. It's weird because when I got into it, I thought it was going to be this big bursting flavor um, or wafting nose I guess you'd say, uh, fruitiness. But it's not as big as you think it would be. But from a distance, it kind of just, I don't know, caught me. So, interesting. There's a greenness in there. I'm, a, I'm expecting it wholeheartedly to flip the script and go, like, big green, bittering in taste. Bit sweeter underneath that. But we're going to find out. So, let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah. It did that. It did that in a fucking super cool way this is tasty you get that big green pop it's weed it's pulling weed smoking weed fresh cut, cut grass kind of deal but then it peaks it just stays there it doesn't get like softer it doesn't kind of drop away but it doesn't really keep going it just kind of just gets up to this green point that's nice it's kind of lays there. You get big, huge, big tropical flute. 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 Yeah, tropical flute. That sounds kind of pornographic, actually. A tropical fruit kind of leaning um, hop presence in there. But there's a lot of kind of, you know, citrus, peachy kind of stuff going in there outside of the tropical fruit. It's not as sweet as you think it would be. And it's not as green as you think it would be. But it's green, more than green enough and more than fruity enough. It's thinner than what you'd expect from a lot of these kind of hazy New England style IPAs. Especially you look at it, you expect a bit of kind of bigger, more uh, dense kind of mouthfeel to it. But you're not really getting it there. You're just kind of getting this kind of, uh, I don't want to say thin, but definitely thinner than you'd expect kind of mouthfeel. But it's almost like a second thought because it's almost 9% and it's infinitely drinkable. Super dangerous beer. 
because it just tastes good. The hops come off beautifully, both on the sweet format, combination of that kind of sweetness in the malt with that kind of fruitiness in the hop gives you the kind of juicy vibes combined with that nice graininess that kind of runs the whole spectrum of the graininess and a super drinkable, I don't want to call it thin, I want to call it drinkable, drinkable kind of mouthfeel. I could drink like three or four of these real quick, real easy, and then be like, what the fuck happened to me kind of thing. That's happened before, it'll happen again, but yeah, I could definitely see it happening with this beer. Tasty stuff. Mm. Delicious. It's weird because they're talking about citrusness. Talk about uh, citrus hot. I get way more tropical and citrus on it. That's how it leans for me. Maybe it's the way this sweet plays for me. But yeah, it's not that there's not citrus in there. And there, you know, a nice sweet citrus with a little bit of kind of pithy orange vibes. It definitely kind of leans tropical for me more than anything else. I dig it though. Let's talk about it. It's one of the better double IPAs I've had as of late. Definitely in the conversation. Um, not the best. There's some that just do a little bit better for me, but this is definitely worth um, being in the conversation, especially being one of the first uh, hop forward offerings I've had from Calusa. It, it's pretty damn tasty stuff. Value availability, I don't know. It's a sticker on a silver can. I assume it's anywhere from 16 to 18 bucks, give or take a couple bucks, and you got to get it at the brewery. Maybe Ralph can chime in and leave you with, if you like what will you like this? If you like hoppy beers, if you're a Hazebro hop thotty kind of person, or if you like nice beers, chuggable beers, dangerous beers, it's well made. There's levels to it, there's a depth to it. It's not all one note, it's not singular notes, it's all kind of it's cohesive enough that it makes sense throughout the whole beer while it still kind of peaks at the points you want it to kind of peak. So it, it works well as not just a kind of haze bro beer, but as a beer that I think is made well for people to like a little bit more depth to just hop thrown in your face. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, didn't, anywhere in between, down there working stuff and things. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, all four of those places if you want to check this dude out somewhere else. And there you go. Another review in the books. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully, hopefully you're enjoying a nice Calusa beer right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.